Hi, this is Dark Centeno, and this is another installment of my botched stem cell series. Uh, and this is on AVN stem cell scam. Now, we didn't invent AVN or osteonecrosis stem cell injections. That was actually Philippe Hernigau in France. But we've done a lot of these cases, and so we get asked all the time to look at difficult issues. And this was a patient who I actually evaluated today who had developed hip pain while working out and was diagnosed with mild to moderate osteonecrosis, also called avascular necrosis or AVN. And he was offered a hip replacement and his was about stage two. Now, this is a disease that has been treated successfully with an X-ray guided bone marrow stem cell injection since the 1990s. So we're not talking about new technology here. Despite that, it's not really done very much in the US. We've done a slew of cases, but many times it's not done. Surgeons prefer to do surgery rather than injecting stem cells. So despite this, this patient lost more than a year of critical time by having two different physicians inject his hip joint blindly without guidance with fat stem cell treatments. Now he eventually made it to a doctor who injected the dying bone with bone marrow stem cells and then obviously to us. So exhibit one, injecting the hip joint blind is below the standard of care. There is no reason that should be done. Exhibit two, the disease is in the bone. So injecting the joint, i.e. not in the bone, will do little to help the bone. That's what the first two doctors charged him for. Exhibit three, we have three decades of data on AVN and bone marrow stem cells. Why in the world would you inject fat? It makes no sense. We have very little data that show it shows that injecting fat into bones will help bones, but we have tons of data about bone marrow. So in summary, the biggest issues here are we have blind injections in the hip and that's below the standard of care. You can't treat dead bone by injecting the joint. You need to inject the bone. And bone marrow stem cells are standard of care for this disease with extensive research support. So injecting fat just makes no common sense. So this is a scam. While this guy eventually got proper treatment, his first two stem cell treatments, were a scam with little chance of helping him during which he lost valuable time and he may not be able to completely get rid of this disease now because of that. So if you want providers that know how to do this stuff, seek out a Regenix provider. Thanks so much and have a great day.